Welcome guys, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the map Seaside in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I'm going to bring up an overview of the map right now. Go ahead and pause it at this point in time if you want to go ahead and review this. Let's dive into the map right away. So here we have Seaside in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Let's go ahead and start on the north side here and then we'll go through each lane. Now, I don't understand why they have this statue of a man riding a donkey, but it is here. So let's go ahead and start here and go down the right side. So I'm currently in theater mode, and I'm on free look. The map has an overall kind of Mediterranean kind of um, theme to it. As you can see, we're going to a cafe right now, and there's Ratatouille if you ever watched that movie. I think it has what, like a, a Greek kind of Italian kind of theme to it too. Moving into our next little wine cellar here. You can see all the wine prices. If you care to look around, I'm sure there's a lot of things to kind of look at and pick up as you go through this map. It has a very rich theme to it. All right, moving down here. Also, there's like a kind of war theme to this. It seems like some enemy is invading. Moving through here, it looks like someone spilled some stuff. There's just so much to kind of detail in this map that you can just pick up each time you go through it. All right, now we'll go up the middle lane of this map. La Corteza. I feel like this tank is moving each time I see it. So now we're going into the main cathedral. This is one of the choke points here with a tank in the middle. And we were on the other side when we came down first on the right side. Also, there's an option to go up on the tower here, the cathedral. So let's go ahead and go up there now. This is a good sniper location. Or just holding it down with an assault rifle. Alright, let's go back out in the middle here. So this is where we would have came through if we didn't go up top. Nice overview of the cathedral. Our church. So this is the main uh choke point I think most people are going to be coming through also to point out you have an option to go up here and hold it down from the other spawn point you have this area right here you can run through this is where I initially came through on my right side lane let's go up through here here's a fountain now one thing I noticed about Black Ops 4 and their map design is you always have the option to take a left or a right. It is three lanes, but there's a little bit more variance to them. And three lanes have been the staple of the Call of Duty series for a while now. Okay, we're back at the original spawn here. And what do I mean by this? For example, this part right here. We have the option in this lane go left or right. Let's go ahead and take a left. And here we are presented that option again. Left or right. Let's go ahead and take a left. And then I'll swoop in the middle here. And I'll show you this goes back up to the center choke point. Let's go back down. I'm not sure if this is going to be unlocked in the future at all for any kind of event or playlist. But it seems like it should be part of the map. But it's not right now. So let's go ahead and go over here and this will be our final lane to go through. And there's that tank again. 
And then we would have came in over here if we took the left path. Uh, path. And here we are at the other spawn. So it's a pretty quick and easy map here. All the maps are kind of that standard three lanes. And then you have those variants to go around the other sides. So this is the seaside walkthrough. This is Tim from Your Six Stews. Thank you guys for watching.